lovely day out here and currently sunny Benicia California no it's not Benicaya it's pronounced Benicia just like some people might think this Jaguar is pronounced Jaguar I'm not sure leave that up to you um but lovely little Ford era S type we'll poke around it it is for sale it's going up on your favorite auction platform cars and bids and uh let's poke it full of holes um i've already done a video with one of these before this one's a little different that one had a sport package and some other things this is not a sport package car but it does have some other options so let's check it out we'll switch blade jaguar key Has held up pretty darn well. Sweet Alpine stereo system. Uh, it's got just about 63,000 miles on it. Pretty low for one of these. security system you're there little crack in the hard plastic base up there which is pretty common on these uh, not the end of the world but worth noting okay fine put the key in the ignition sheesh uh-huh I'm on it Sounds good. All systems nominal. I've started this thing a couple of times now, and I've not heard any timing chain rattle or any anything like that, which is good. It's something you want to be mindful of on these. It's not as brutally bad as something like a you know a B6 or B7 Audi S4 with their timing chain issues. Um, but that's one of the main kind of bugaboos on these cars, and this one doesn't seem like it, it's got any, any noticeable noises on that front. It is a later production car, so that helps the case. Um, at least in my understanding, Jaguar aficionados, feel free to chime in. It does have comically out, outdated nav, which does work if you, if you wanted to use it for some reason. Works, heated seats. Power locks work. What's fun is too is you do this, it'll unlock them all. Huzzah! Everything with the uh, the J shifter here works as it should. Some people hate on these. I actually don't mind it. I think it's actually kind of kind of functional. I said J gate, not J gate. Let's see. Got a, a break. It does work. All right, let's do the, oh, come on. There it goes. the ever popular uh, sunroof test here in a second. Because I have not attempted to use it, so this will be a surprise for me just as much as you. Perfect. Not a hiccup. 
let's uh, pop the trunk, pop the fuel door, pop the hood, can't forget our windows, power down on the fronts, doesn't do power up. No power down on the rears, or I should say no automatic down, but they're working. All good there. One thing I did notice, and it's probably impossible to pick up here because it's super duper minor. There's some super light kind of bad windshield wiper scratching here on the windshield. Um, they might be able to polish out. You get someone with some steel wool or something, you can get it out of the glass. Um, it might be even just a detail. Would, would get it to go away, but it's something I noticed. Again, hyper minor, but you know, we point these things out. That's what we do. This door, not a door. Pain and body are exceptionally nice. There's some minor door dings and scuffs here and there, but they're pretty few and far between. There's like a little, a little something here. Um, no mark there. That feels like it'll fall down. Got there. Another little mark in the clear there. That might again polish out. A couple light scratches on the hood. Some here. That's not even a scratch. That was just some compound. That's gone. A little light one here and here. Some really minor ticky tack stuff. A little damage on the bottom side of the bumper. A couple of cracks in the paint right there. What's our date codes on these tires? End of 2021, so in great shape there. Those are nice, those are the uh, Continental Extreme Contacts. And our marks there. All told though, very nice, very clean car. Let's go on the front. Liner's in nice shape. Ignore my little blow dryer over there. It was wet this morning, so I wanted to kind of blow the car off, get some of the moisture off of it. For my photos. Your package tray has a little bit of fading to it. Again, super comp. Okay. Terribly bumpy road right here. Help reveal any little rattles. There's one right here somewhere. Ah. No. I don't know what it is. We'll get the smooth pavement. Probably it will go away.
really any exciting road right here. Go on a quick jaunt up the freeway. Come on back. Something rolling around in the, the rear door trim panel pocket. I can hear it rolling around back there. Sounds like a marble or something. Okay, so that is the long and the short of it with this here Jag Jaguar S-Type. Um, yeah, so I still, you know, my opinion on these cars is just like the last one I drove is they're, they're actually pretty good um, and certainly underrated. And uh, yeah, if, if you can, if you're into the styling, um, I, I think it's a pretty solid buy. This specific one, is uh, live right now on Cars and Bids. Um, so follow the link in the description below if you want to um, get in on the action, bid often, bid early. And um, if not, if you just kind of want to see how it performs, um, follow along too. Um, if you missed uh, if you missed out on the action, then I'm so sorry, um, but uh, try and pick up on it next time um, by uh, doing all the YouTube things and you can follow along um, when these videos go live, the auction goes live. So um, try and get in while you can. And um, that's it. Will be really interesting to see how this car does. Because um, I, I, I don't know. I like weird cars, but I like this thing. I think it's better than it has any business being. Um, and this is a good one. So um, that's it. Thanks for hanging out.